Welcome to Matt's Workshop. It's been a long time since I've made a video. That's because I've been off with a back injury. I've also had to downsize from my large shed to this small car garage. Now I'm just going to be doing some rearranging in here to fit in this new piece of equipment that's arriving. A CNC 80 watt laser cutting machine. So hopefully there's going to be some great videos coming up with projects and CNC info and how to as I learn this new machine. I'll also be writing a review or um, posting a review, but uh, this machine was ordered from Sydney. The delivery was very quick, um, excluding the weekend, it only took a couple of days to arrive. A lot of unpacking to do, so I'm going to get to that. Just um, remember that uh, when you get to the end, it's quite a heavy machine, so you'll need a couple of people to help lift the um, laser cutter off the uh, pallet bed and onto the ground. But once it's on the ground, it's on caster wheels and it's very light and easy to move around. Now it's all unpacked, just a quick look at the machine. Emergency stop, light switches on the front, uh, top wisdom controller, it's a 403C controller and a 410C um, controller board. The uh, fume outlet, which will be connected up to the, uh, the fume fan or the fume um, unit. We've also got water in, water out and air inlets. The water is used to uh, cool the CO2 laser tube, which is housed in here. Just undo that uh, Allen key um, head uh, screw. Underneath we have our storage when the unit comes with uh, the air hoses, that's the fume or exhaust air hoses. Because the bed can raise up and down, we have access underneath um, all the way through we also have supplied the manual, CDs, air pump, hose clamps, screwdriver, double sided tape, power leads, USB cable, earth wire, silicon, allen keys and some more hose clamps. An aquarium water pump is used to cool the CO2 laser tube. Just opening up the uh, laser enclosure. This is a very quick walk around. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. It's an 80 watt CO2 laser tube, which is water cooled. On this side we have the laser power supply, the controller board, as well as the laser switch, light switch, main switches, USB connections and the platform up and down button. And again on the front, the uh, emergency stop. In this box here, we have uh, the exhaust fan unit. So this connects up to the blue hoses there in the background and that uh, extracts the fumes from the machine. Software manual, user manual and auto laser software. It also comes with Corel Draw 7, uh, sorry 12. Uh, supplied with the machine is also an air uh, compressor or little air pump and that's used to supply air to the cutter head. So here we have the machine. Uh, I've rearranged the workshop so that it uh, fits in here good. 
So we've got the machine, uh, as you see on this side, we have the uh, blue hoses going into the uh, exhaust unit and that is connected down here on the uh, left hand side of the machine. I'll just go over the back and show you how the water is connected. In this esky here we've got the aquarium water pump with some chilled water. Um, I'm going to get a thermometer added to that so that I keep an eye on temperature. So far I haven't had any problems. Those hoses are connected into the water outlet and inlet. On the ground there also we have the air hose coming from the, uh, the top down to the air pump which sits down the bottom there. And just a quick uh, recap. I know it went fast with the other videos but as you can see everything is labelled extremely well. So these buttons on the side here, these ones control the platform up and down. So pressing up and the platform comes up so that you can set your focal depth, uh, focal height of the laser. So I'll go into more detail on those in future videos. Thanks for taking the time to visit Matt's workshop. I've got some great videos uh, planned um, for this CNC laser machine, some project videos. It's always important to read the manual to make sure that you're aware of all the safety features and the way machine operates. In the future I hope to do videos on how to align the laser mirrors, some um, tips and tricks with design, look at the different softwares, uh, programs that I use with the CNC laser machine as well as some uh, reviews, some do's, don'ts. And um, with assistance of other uh, CNC laser workers, um, I've got some advice and um, instruction, so hopefully I'll be sharing some of their ideas as well. So thanks again. If you'd like the video, please don't forget to press like, subscribe, and put the bell on so that you get notification when I release new videos. Thanks again, and um, take care. Cheers.